Hi gardeners, today we're talking about fall leafy vegetables and here in our cold frame is butter crunch lettuce. You can see fully mature. These two have been transplanted from another part of the garden so that way they'll all be protected here and if we need to, if it's going to get a threat of frost, we can just put down the cold frame and protect everything. But for right now, high 60s, but about a 15 to 20 knot sustained wind. Uh, we're really earning our name of windblown today. Carrots here are doing nicely in the other cold frame, and as long as you can protect them from frost, they'll keep on growing, so they should do well here. And of course, the water bottle to absorb heat. Other fall plantings of, veg of uh, leafy vegetables. Here we have the beginnings of spinach. These were growing inside and they weren't growing very fast, so I took the risk to get them outside. And over here, oh, look at that. This is our brassica bed where we still have three cabbages that are survived and we have about 14 Siberian kale that we just started over here. Once again, planted them from a tray inside. So now all we're waiting on is for the butternuts to finish uh, curing. A lot of them are the right color, but as you can see, not quite brown enough here on the stem. So we'll just give them another week or two. We have no uh, frost and forecast for the next 10 days. So maybe in 10 days, some of these will be ready to pick. We have about 15 in the bed, and as you can see, a lot of weeds have grown around them. But for the autumn and the winter, our hopes are riding with spinach, with lettuce, with carrots, and with the kale and cabbage over here. And we'll get some more row cover to protect everything. Of course, I shouldn't uh, let our friends over here in bed number seven go by. Here we have some beautiful golden beets forming up and we have a single romaine that has somehow or another found its way through the whole process and a whole bunch of Swiss chard that are beautiful, small, tender leaves right now. And the bok choy. The bok choy is doing nicely. A couple of places where some insects have gotten to it, but everybody loves bok choy. All right, folks, you've got a chance to get out there, even in the autumn, and grow your own food.